Hi, I'm Roger Flores. And I'm Jess P. And we're golf experts here at Curated. Here at Curated, we are crazy about everything golf. We help thousands of golfers find the right gear for them every season. We got to demo some of the best clubs from the best brands, and here are our top three choices for performance drivers for 2022. And just so you know, we're not sponsored by any brand. All of these reviews are completely unbiased. At number three is the Cobra LTDX LS model. So my first impressions of the club was it is very simple looking. It's a very much let the club do the talking kind of thing. Simple black finish on top. The CNC milled face always looks super cool. So overall, at first appearance, it looked wonderful. It looks like a great club. Cobra claims that it is the longest total distance. It is gonna be an absolute monster. So this club is gonna be great for people that maybe hit the ball way too high, wanna drop their spin down a little bit. The driver is a little bit fade biased, so maybe if you have a problem hooking the ball a little bit, this might be an ideal option for you as well. It's gonna be targeted more towards uh, faster swing speeds. Typically, people that swing the club faster, they're gonna put more spin on the ball, and this is gonna help drop those spin rates down a little bit. It also it might be great for people that come really steep into the ball and that produce a lot of backspin on the driver. This could be a very good option for them as well. I feel like this driver isn't gonna be good for people that naturally fade or slice the ball, people that already have a low penetrating ball flight, people that need help lifting the ball up in the air a little bit more, probably not gonna be the best option for them. Or people with really, really slow swing speeds, probably also not gonna be the best option for them either. And coming in at number two is the TaylorMade Stealth Plus driver. TaylorMade is claiming that titanium is dead and it is now the carbon era. So apparently carbon is the future of drivers and potentially more to come. So there's some lofty claims. <laughs> It definitely lived up to the claims. I was very skeptical about this driver. Between the appearance and the marketing, I was on the fence with the carbon. Is it really gonna transfer the energy better? Um, how is it gonna feel? How is it gonna sound? It it was exceptional. Like it is, it's the real deal. And uh, historically, I don't hit TaylorMade drivers very well. I've never really gotten along with them, but this is going in my bag as soon as I can get it in there. This driver is a good fit for people that find the center of the club face consistently, have fast club head speed, and aren't prone to slicing the ball. This driver is fade bias. I noticed that, that's why I have it set into the draw setting right now, is even on my best hits, it would still bleed out to the right a little bit. I personally play a draw. So once I slid that weight down, it straightened it out with even a little bit of a baby draw on it. So if you do struggle with slicing the ball and losing the ball to the right, it's not gonna be for you. And our number one driver for performance players is the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS and Triple Diamond. My impressions of the club is that this lived up to all the expectations that I, I thought it would. It, it looks clean. I love the look of it. You can tell it's very aerodynamic. I love the large face on it. Um, the composite top, the matted look is just is absolutely clean looking too. So we have the jailbreak technology in the face, uh, going vertical and horizontal now. We have the tungsten speed cartridge at 23 grams in the back. Um, we have the composite top that's supposed to reduce the weight in it. And then it has this a very aerodynamic shape to it. So all of these things combined are an increased club head speed, um, is an increased the ball speed with the tungsten speed cartridge in the back. The high MOI in the face is gonna make it super stable. The super stable face is making it more forgiving on this on off center hits as well. So all of those things translate to more fairways and more distance. Overall, the Rogue ST Max LS performed amazing. It was super forgiving across the face. For a low spinning driver, it is exceptionally forgiving. It looks clean, it performs well, it flies off the face. It's gonna be a great option for a lot of golfers out there. I'm actually really excited to start talking to more people about it. So what do you think? Did your club make the list? Let us know in the comments below. So if you need help finding the right gear for you, go to curated.com and get matched with an expert just like one of us. And if you like the video, click subscribe to watch more from Curated.